All right, so I'm working on installing the cable railing for our stairs. And I've gone through and laid out where all the cables are going to pass through these posts. And uh, I'm going to do them the cables every three inches. I think the code states that a four inch sphere shouldn't be able to pass through uh, the wires or the cables. And I mean, I don't really care about keeping it exactly to code, but the spacing worked out to where this last one was going to be in a good spot. Um, just as far as the spacing off the stairs. It's going to be 10 cables, so I had enough material to do that and hardware, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. So yeah, it took me a while to figure out a good way to drill um, this angle and to maintain the angle for each uh, cable because I wanted to match this same angle as the handrail at the top. Um, so the best solution I could find was just to buy one of these portable drill press thingies. I found this one at Harbor Freight. It was like 20 bucks, so uh, it's not the best quality. It's kind of flimsy. Um, and I mean, my holes are not exactly centered on the back side, uh, but I think it's close enough to where you're not really gonna be able to tell. And there are some nicer ones on online, like on Amazon, uh, that are going to hold it, everything a lot square, and uh, your holes are going to be a lot straighter. But uh, I didn't really want to spend the extra money, and then I would have had to wait for it to come in. So trying this one out it seems to be working okay. Um, and I mean, I don't see it lasting a long time or anything. But I mean, if I can just get this one job out of it, that'd be worth it to me. So. All I'm doing is just lining it up. And uh, I was originally gonna try to clamp it, but it's just too hard to, by myself, to hold it and clamp it and get everything straight. So it's better to just freehand it and you can kind of adjust it and just get it lined up and then uh, start drilling. Just drilling those tin. Just have tin left to do on this post, and um, they came out pretty straight, pretty consistent. It's definitely not perfect, but um, I think it'll look fine uh, from here. You know, I think if you really wanted to like sight down it, the wires, um, you could probably tell that it's not perfectly aligned. But I think once all the cables are there, and uh, you're looking at it from this way, you really won't be able to see any inconsistencies. So, it's good enough for me. Okay, I've got all the hardware in place. mounted at all and I went ahead and ran this first wire just to make sure it doesn't look uh, too terrible and it looks pretty good if you really look close you can see a slight offset um, from where the wire enters the post on the lower side where it comes out but you I mean you really can't you really have to be looking to notice it and I think once all the cables are there you you won't notice it again should be fine I've got my spool set up to where I can just pull it and uh, not have to worry about the wire going too crazy so we just pulled it from the spool all the way up through the holes from the bottom and uh, crimped it at the top first, and then we could get a measurement and cut it to length. And uh, this went pretty fast. And we're just using a standard crimping tool. 
I'll uh, put links to all the materials and tools we used in the description. Alright, I've got all the cable installed and the railing is pretty much done. I also went ahead and cleaned up this uh, installation of the lighting cables. I had to remove this piece whenever I uh, drilled out the holes for the wire, the cabling for the railing, so got that reinstalled. The only thing left on the railing is I'm going to need to buy the right size bungs to fill all these bigger holes. That'll be pretty much done.